Now let's do M does again. I know marami na tayong na-upload regarding sa order, order of operations, or kilalang PEMDAS, or MDAS, or GEMDAS, or sa ibang bansa ay BODMAS, BODMAS, or BEDMAS, or may meron pang uh, gems at yung may bidmas pa. These are just acron acronyms para hindi makalimutan yung order of operations. Now, I am so honored and I love this. Someone, ang sabi daw ay she's a board chair RSC World and RTCPRC Board Chair. Hindi ko na lang i-reveal yung name niya. Okay? Pero naka-public post ito sa FB niya one hour ago. Then nag-comment siya. Ito pala ay yung mismong link natin sa MDAS. At ilalagay ko rin yung link na ito sa description ng video ito. At nag-comment siya almost an hour ago. At kung ano itong comment na ito, ganun din yung post niya sa FB niya. Basahin natin. You are very wrong. Wrong daw ako sa imdas natin. You even tampered not only the Filipinos but foreigners, even those who are very good in math. Your problem is logic and interpretation. Now, basahin natin ito mismo. There is only one rule daw for the arithmetic operation and it is MDAS. Yan ang sabi niya. Multiplication before division. Huwag kayong malito ha kasi binasa lang natin yung sulat niya. As the logic behind is that you can't divide before multiplying. Yan ang sabi niya. Otherwise, the answer will be decimal or a fraction. As the student fails because of your wrong teaching and no logic, we are to forward this both to DepEd and CHED. Now, let's talk about DepEd and CHED. Now, doon siya mismo nag-comment sa multiplication and division only. So, wag na nating isipin yung parenthesis, exponent, at yung addition at subtraction lalong maguguluhan siya. DepEd. This is from grade 5 textbook. From grade 5 textbook, don't tayo sa rule number 3. Multiply and divide in the order they appear from left to right. By the way, yung nagpost na yun ay from UST. Ano kaya ibig sabihin dyan sa in the order they appear from left to right. Now, dito naman tayo sa grade, uh, grade, this is from grade 6 textbook. Step number 3. Multiply or divide from left to right. Now, ito naman ay from elementary algebra. This is from elementary algebra na libro. Algebra. Step number 3. Multiply and divide from left to write. Now, itong galing sa grade 5, grade 6, at itong elementary algebra na libro na approved by CHED or DepEd, hindi, hindi nakalagay dyan na unahin si multiplication kay ni division. Kundi, we have to work from left to right. In the order of the appear, from left to right. Now, dito tayo sa study.com at pwede nyong isearch ito. Step number three, even though M for multiplication in PEMDAS comes before D for division, these two operations actually have same priority. In other words, they rank equally. Complete only those operations in the order they occur. Ano kaya ang Tagalog dyan? From left to right. Now, doon tayo sa... 
mismo itong libro na to ba? Ito mismo ang elementary algebra. So dito tayo mismo, 'di ba? Yung number 3, multiply and divide from left to right. Tapos meron dito ang example. Meron siyang exponent. So nauna yung exponent, ano to yung 2 cubed, so kaya naging 8. Anong next diyan? Yung 16 divided by 8 or yung 8 times 3? Ang inuna niya yung division. 16 divided by 8 and that is equals to 2. Kaya 2 yan. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng left to right. Now, kung hindi klaro sa inyo yan, dito tayo sa grade 4. This is from grade 4 textbook. Which one is correct? 64, that is division. Divided by 8, tapos multiplication, times 4, division ulit, divided by 2. So, 64 divided by 8 times 4 divided by 2. Again, dito siya nag-comment sa post na ito. Is it letter A na unahin talaga si multiplication? Kasi gaya ng sabi din niya na dapat unahin si multiplication bago yung mga division. Or is it letter B that we have to work from left to right? Or is it letter C from right to left? Basahin natin ang sagot. Since there is only multiplication and division in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Thus, the correct answer is letter B, left to right. Grade 4, textbook. Balikan natin yung post niya mismo. Wait, saan na ba yun? Ito. Uh, hindi lang natin i-reveal yung pangalan niya kasi I know later on, siguro i-delete niya ito pag ma-realize niya na mali siya kasi uh, literally nakakahiya ito once later ma-realize niya na mali pala siya. Sabi niya dito kasi, don't insist on wrong lectures. Uh, you've even outnumbered, sabi niya, yun ang akala niya, research, sabi niya sa akin, and you'll find no support to your cause. Kung sana napanood niya yung buong uh, video sana, yung sinasabi niyang DepEd at CHED, dun ko rin naman binabase kung paano isolve ang M das na si multiplication at division, they rank equally, kaya we must solve them from left to right. Whichever comes first. Kasi nga, rank equally siya. So, this is not anonymous. No joke. Kaya, ni-reveal niya yung pangalan niya. Pero sa video ito, hindi lang natin i-reveal yung name niya. Pero nakapost siya sa FB natin. Pero I know later on, i-delete din niya yan. Bakit nga ba ginawan natin ito ng video? Marami naman tayo mga na-post na with regard sa order of operations or MDAS. Para lang ba ipahiya siya? I don't think so, kasi siya mismo nag-post niyan. Ito lang ay para i-explain sa inyong lahat kung gaano ka-importante ang mag-review. Siya na mismo nagsabi na mag-research daw. And you'll find no support to your answer. But actually, kung ginawa din niya sa sarili niya, hindi sana siya nag-post nito. Kaya yung intro natin, sabi ko, I am so honored Kasi hindi lang pala isang math teacher, yung sam lang ha, hindi lahat ng math teacher. Yung ibang math teacher, yung ibang math major, yung ibang mga engineer na sabi nila, lahat ng yun ay nakausap na natin dati after nilang na-review na wala na yan sila lahat. And uh, most of them naman nagpasalamat na na-review na nila kung paano yung order of operation or yung MDAS. Now, this, ito naman yung latest natin, kaya nakaka, ano tawag dito, nakaka-proud lang din na I know later on na isang board chair sa RSC Word and RTCPRC ay later on meron at meron siyang matutunan sa mga videos natin, especially regarding order of operations. So, we hope na i-forward niya sa DepEd yung mga videos natin. DepEd daw or CHED. Now, doon naman tayo sa, sabi niya, research and you'll find no support. Diba, nabasa na natin itong galing sa grade 5, 
grade 6. At ito naman sa elementary algebra, mayroon pa tayong study.com, marami pa tayo. At ito naman ay yung klaro lang sa elementary algebra. At ito naman ay galing sa grade 4 textbook. At ito ay grade 4 textbook at regarding naman ito sa addition at subtraction. Pero hindi na lang natin i-elaborate yan kasi doon naman siya nag-comment sa multiplication and division only. At yun lang din naman yung comment niya na unahin daw si multiplication which is wala yan sa libro. Now ngayon, dito tayo sa latest, grade 7 textbook at libro din ito ng anak natin. Uh, by the way, sa order of operations, four steps lang yan. So ang step number 1 dun sa grouping, step number 2 dun tayo sa exponent. Now dito tayo mag-focus sa step number 3, perform all multiplication and divisions from left to right. Now itong... Uh, Number 3, step number 3 ay napaka-detalye ang pag-explain yan dito sa grade 4 textbook na left to right. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng left to right. Now, dito naman tayo sa study.com, nabasa na natin ito. So, dito tayo sa reviewerscivilserviceexam.com. Step number 3, MD means multiplication and division. These two operations actually have the same rank, so you should complete these two operations in the order they occur. Nandito na naman si left to right. Wala kang mabasa na unahin mo talaga si multiplication. Or hindi anim ang steps sa PEMDAS, kundi apat lang yan. Next, order of operations. Dito tayo sa mga illustrations para klaro lang sa inyo kung ano ibig sabihin ng left to right. Number three. Pwedeng MD, pwedeng DM, left to right. Ganon din sa addition at subtraction. MD, multiplication, uh, multiplication and division, left to right. Green sila lahat kasi nga rank equally. Now, dito na naman tayo sa iba pang libro na natabunan mo yung pangalan niya. Isa din siya sa nag-send sa atin ng librong ito. Para maklarify lang sa inyo, so dagdag ito sa ating mga sa ating mga references. Let's read this. Order of operations. Very often two or more numbers are grouped together to indicate that they are to be considered together as a single number. To avoid confusion, grouping symbols are used. The grouping symbols are the following. So don't tell us our rules. Number one, simply express Simplify expressions inside parentheses and other grouping symbols first. So, hindi na niya mention yung exponent dito. So, doon tayo sa number 2 na rules dito sa librong ito. Do multiplication and division next in the order they occur, that is, from left to right. Next, sa number 3, ganun din, sa addition and subtraction. Yan daw yung last, in the order they occur, that is, from left to right. Now, ito yung ini example si 16 sulat natin 16 times 2 divided by 8 anong nandito uh, plus 12 ang haba naman oy eh. hindi na lang natin isulat dito tayo mag-focus sa uh, itong multiplication 16 times 2 is equal to 32 kaya 32 yan siya and then meron tayong uh, 12 times 3 kaya meron tayong 36 next May operation kasi dito sa between 3 and 48 na subtraction. Kaya dito tayo mag, next sa mag-focus sa 48 divided by 6. And that is equals to 48 divided by 6. That is equals to 8. Tapos, i-multiply mo sa 3, kaya 24 yan siya. So, in a way, meron na tayong sa previous, meron na tayong mas klarong explanation dyan doon sa grade 4 textbook. At ito naman yung para maklaro lang sa inyo na itong PEMDAS na ito, multiplication and division, they rank equally. Kaya kung alin ang mauna sa given. Multiplication and division from left to right. Again, multiplication and division from left to right. Isa pa, para klaro lang. Ito yung kulay na blue, ito naman yung next na kulay sa exponent or orders sa bodmas. Tapos, pareho yung kulay. Yung multiply and divide. 
multiplication and division or kung alin ang mauna. Kasi nga, they rank equally. They rank equally. Kaya doon sa nagsasabing mayabang ako, dudublihin ko po yung yabang ko basta ba meron at meron kayong matutunan sa tamang pagsunod sa MDAS or better known as Order of Operations. Kasi maraming nagkakamali nito, maraming nakalimot sa mismong Order of Operations. And by the way, sila naman yung nagsasabi na math teacher sila or math major, dito muna tayo, sa so math major sila or engineer sila, kaya tuloy alam ko kung gaano ka-importante ang mag-review. Gaya ngayon, na isa raw siyang board chair. Tapos, yun ang mga sinasabi niya. So, anyway, sa mga first time sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin. Pwede kayong mag-PM sa akin kahit ano pa mga mga questions yan, tingnan natin. Or magbigay kayo ng email niyo kung gusto niyo ng printable, libreng printable na reviewers. Ito naman yung FB group natin, Philippine Civil Service Review for, for All, na pwede kayong mag-post sa mga questions ninyo. Marami tayong mga FB members na haping sagutan yung mga tanong ninyo. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB group na lagi nating tinatambayan at Ito naman yung FB pages natin. Thank you and God bless. And by the way, abangan ng part 2 nito kasi sabi niya, ire-report daw talaga niya ito sa DepEd and CHED at mag-wait daw ako sa memorandum. I'm very, very excited kung ano yung feedback from DepEd at CHED once mapanood niya yung lahat ng mga videos natin with regards sa order of operations. I'm so excited kaya abangan natin yung part 2 nito. Thank you.